me about a time when you watched a TV show that was just so smartly stupid that it actually made you want to physically get up and go through the TV screen and and, and just 1-800 choke a hole to the point where you were just like, I'm going to jail. I'll go first. All right, so Nellyville, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Hee hee. First time here. Yay, love you so much. Okay, let's just get right into it. I'm so fired up. Okay, so this is my story about a show. Now, not the whole show itself, but an episode of the show that I watched that has just, it makes no sense to me. And, and prison, prison is the word that's coming to mind for these people and for myself because... Okay, Wizards of Waverly Place, you know, with my girl Selena Gomez, right? It's this particular episode, it is this episode where there is supposedly supposed to be an asteroid coming to Earth. Okay, like every show has the episode where it's like an asteroid coming to hit Earth, all right? So my first kind of qualm that I have with this episode is, um, they're wizards. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking like, um... You guys as wizards, you or your wizard world can't just like ping, ping, bing, psh, explosion, like save the world episode over. Like, why are we even doing this episode? Like, that's the first thing, right? And I was like, okay, well, it's TV and like they need an episode, right? So they can't just like ping, ping, use magic. And later on in the episode, they do acknowledge that magic speeds or something is like way slower that it wasn't going to get there in time to explode the thing or whatever right okay i was like okay at least they gave an explanation right only for them only for them to turn around and figure out a way to oh why don't we use magic to figure out how to get rid of the asteroid uh -huh. and i'm thinking why was that not the first idea no what was their first idea i tell you oh let's go to the wizard world and just leave everybody behind we're not even gonna invite anyone we're just gonna take Harper and Zeke and we're just gonna book it on out of here and they're just about to leave like just forget earth like fine we're just gonna go live in some other realm which I don't even understand like is the wizard world like not on earth or what whatever so that was another issue so they they they, they leave they're about to go out through their little portal or whatever and then all of a sudden Alex is like oh why don't we use magic we're not even gonna try to save the planet like what well, now all of a sudden you don't care so then <sighs> Alex the, the Selena Gomez character right her brother her two brothers, and they and they got on these goofy ass suits, space suits, right? Look like cows, whatever. Anyways, so they go to the damn asteroid, okay? And again, magic. What? Okay, so apparently there was supposed to be some kind of detonator thing on the thing that was supposed to blow up the asteroid that NASA sent up there, and it didn't go off because, like, of course it didn't fucking work. And then so they're up there to try to make it blow up and i'm thinking um i'm sorry why can't we just like get close enough to the crater and like kaboom like why are we in a spaceship land and oh they weren't even supposed to weren't even trying to land on the asteroid they landed on the asteroid got out of this of this little stupid spaceship uh, that was a toy that they turned into a they get out of the stupid spaceship, right? And they, they're on this asteroid. And I'm like, why did you get out? Why couldn't you just ping, ping, boom, like from space? Why are we getting out? So they're they're walking around this asteroid and they're like, oh, here's the detonator that NASA sent that's not didn't go off. Let's try to put a code in it. I'm not even going to get into that part because jail, prison, really. They get the thing to explode. They have 10 minutes to get away from this thing before it explodes. So the thing can explode and it won't come crashing into our planet. Okay, fine, whatever. Justin, the older brother, starts carving the asteroid talking about, oh, I want to get a souvenir so people will know I was here. Who are you telling? Who are you telling? Who are you telling that you were on the asteroid and you saved the world? Who? Your wizard friends? Like, what? Like, who, like, who are you telling? Who are you, like, why? While he has stopped to try to cut this rock off as a souvenir, he gets stuck. And I know you're thinking, well, she knows they're wizards. Him being stuck's no big deal. They just bada bing, bada boom, poof, he's free, right? No, they sat here until time was almost out. And Alex finally decides, Selena Gomez character, Decides, oh, I can use magic to get my brother free. Okay, 
bitch. Why was that not your first thought to get this man free? Why couldn't you just poof his leg? I don't... I... The frustration that ran through my body of what is going on here, it, it was so strong. It was so strong. So instead of her using the magic, finally, to just get him out, she turns him into a starfish. He, she, she turns him into a starfish so that she could rip off his leg and it would grow back. Because you know starfish, they regenerate or whatever the word is. Why go through all that? At this point, bitch about to blow up, you know? They don't waste all this time playing around, playing these stupid reindeer games. The thing is about to blow up. And then it blows up. With them on it. Okay, so I'm like, okay, is this the last episode? Like, I don't remember Wizards of Waverly, Waverly Place ending like this. Like, I know I didn't watch the show like that, but like, damn, like, what? There was no time. Like, it was over. It was done. Kaboom. I mean, Earth was saved. But these niggas were supposed to be dead. But of course, it's TV. So what happens? The news comes on and says, yay, it worked. It exploded. We're saved, blah, blah, blah. And the, the parents who are still on Earth waiting for their kids to come back, which why would you send your kids up and whatever? That was a problem there. So then you have <clears throat> the parents and the two best friends are there waiting for Alex, Justin, and Max to come back. And they see the shit explode, right? And then, of course, her, the three of them come walking in the door. Like, they did, like, we, like, we as the audience didn't just see them get blown to smithereens. And you're gonna tell me that what, what did they do? Flash themselves out of there onto the spaceship in just the nick of time? I think the fuck not. I, like, what do you mean? What do you mean they didn't blow up? Time ran out. They were not in the spaceship. Like, I don't understand. So, the parents, when thinking that they exploded, nobody cried. They were just like, oh, dang, that's kind of messed up. What? You just lost your three children. The best friend just lost their best friends. Like, I know it's a Disney show. People can't just fall out and do a black funeral cry. But, but... Where was the act, where was the emotion that, oh, I just lost, we just lost three people. And then to end it all off, it ended with, with Alex and Harper, her and her best friend graduating in their school that had blown up from one piece of asteroid that actually did make it to Earth. Oh, what a coincidence. One piece of asteroid actually made it directly to my home, to their hometown and their school and almost blew up their principal, but it blew up this much away from him and the principal was just sitting in there all smoked and all blown up alive. But what? And, and it's just them two. The principal gives... Harper and Alex a diploma in the middle of this blown up school. It's not safe. Where would the, the fire marshal still didn't tell y'all to evacuate the building? Stuff is falling. When did y'all get cap and gowns? Why did y'all go back to the school? Why is it only two of y'all graduating out of this high school class? Isn't this the middle of the year? Where are the other kids? Like I don't prison. And I'm like, and I could keep going on, but it's already been uh, almost ten minutes, and I'm just. Anyway, so that's the story about an episode that just kind of <laughs> really got me going. If you have any movies or TV shows or episodes or songs, movies, whatever, that really just like blew your brain, please leave in the comment section down below. Follow me on all of my other social media and um, subscribe here too first and then blah, blah, blah. You know, um, I have music. I have a podcast. Um, I have TikTok. And I'll be going live on the TikTok now. And so, um, yeah, I will see you little Disney channels next week. All right. Love you so much. Okay, bye.